All right, episode three of the garage series. I'm gonna train back today. This will be probably a quicker workout. Um, I got a podcast film and stuff like that, so we're gonna get into it. Not waste too much time. We'll try to drop some cues here and there as we uh, move through the workout. So here's a layout. That top. Oh, here we go. That top um, stuff there. That's the mini warm up. Shig arm pull down, lat pull down, some sort of chest supported row for the upper back. We'll do a little, another lat pull down or a high row, another row, lat focus, and then some type of stretching type movement, whether that's back to a shig arm pull down, whether that's a pull over. Um, we could do like a vocal pull row or the John Meadows stretchers. Those are um, all kind of similar to me. So let's see how this looks. That might be as good as we're going to get. Let's start getting things greased up. Okay. All right. Those aren't even. There we go.
Oh, okay. God. Gonna keep rolling. Same circuit. So what I'm cueing on the straight arm pull down is keeping my rib cage drawn in neutral, keeping my head neutral with the spine. And I'm just thinking about dragging the elbow. Like I'm not trying to scrape it. Um, almost like uh, I pretend like I'm in like a half pipe and I'm just trying to drag that elbow. Boom. And then when I get down here, I'm thinking about pulling myself into it a little bit, if that makes sense. I've talked about this in all episodes now, opposing that movement. So I'm trying to meet it, fall back, fall into it. All right. Neutral head rib cage down drag boom hitting some modified cable curls there. Originally, I wrote down like four to five rounds. 
on this mini circuit. I'm just going to hit one more. I feel good. Uh, I got about an hour of muscle work done today. So that helped open everything up. And uh, get that blood in there, everything like that. So we're going to roll on this last one. And we'll start getting right into it. Okay. Rib cage, head position. Drag the elbow. Boom. There it is. Okay, that is good there. These standing rows, whatever you want to call them, what I'm doing is the same thing, drawing the rib cage in, head as neutral as I can get it, and I try to keep it there. And then when I'm pulling this, I'm thinking about scooping down, almost like the same feel as a straight arm pull down. So I'm kind of have this downward pressure and I'm dragging the elbow, boom, boom. One way to think about it again, is scraping that cable on that pulley, rolling it down the pulley, rolling it back in, boom. And this downward pressure will really hit that lat nice and low. Um, so that's something you guys can try or don't. That's okay. Let's, uh... Change out this. All right, let's see. This is likely somewhat redundant, but mostly this point of the workout in a commercial gym, I'd be using a pullover machine. Um, so today I'm being lazy. Like I said, I'm trying to get moving quick here. Um, we're just going to throw on this, uh, 
prime attachment and uh, we're going to blast them out there. So let's stay on it. Rest periods are going to be kept a bit shorter, specifically on this first exercise. Today in general, like I said, I'm trying to move through this thing, so um, I'll probably limit the cues and talking today. I just want to get you guys kind of what a typical back day looks like for me. So let's stay on this, keep rolling with it. Ooh. Yeah, let's go. Same thing here. I had five sets programmed with these. We're dropping it to three because things are feeling good. Ooh. The, oh. Okay, here we go.
Okay, now here it is. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, it might work. Ooh, I might just work. I thought there was a possibility that I could use that uh, seal row attachment as a seat for lat pull down. The Range of motion feels a little shy, but this is the type of things that you are uh, subjected to when you train in the garage. Um, not everything's going to be set up as desirable as it might be in a commercial gym. Um, and that's just uh, part of the trade-off. There's good and bad things about training in the garage. And if losing a little range of motion on a lat pull-down is the worst thing today, um, it's an okay day with me. Let's see what this feels like here. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Mm. That's actually really good. Um, this seat is kind of at a uh, decline, which I like. I didn't know that I was going to like it, but it actually helps me keep that rib cage down that I was talking about and really get a good stretch. Um, one thing you'll see me do at the top is I'm trying to get that full range of motion every bit that I can garage or not but I'm not losing tension on the lat on the top so I'm not relaxing at the top I'm actually thinking about almost doing like a front double so the lats I'm actually trying to flare them out at the top um, and get those scapulas to move that's my goal when you're training back is to think about getting the scapulas to open and close. Um, a lot of the times I'm thinking about the 
mandatory bodybuilding poses and I'm trying to incorporate those in the training that I'm doing. So we're going to take a 20 pound jump and we're going to do our first working set. Maybe that angle's better. Let's get to this one. Woo! All right. This one is taking a failure. Two working sets. This is number one. Everything is taken to hell at this point. Let's go. Ooh. Oh. Open those lats. Boom. <sighs> open, 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 open. Open, open, open. Chest into it. Boom. There it is. Let's go. Okay, let's get some more sauce on there. One more set. Okay. 
Oof, come on now. Alright. Last one, best one. Oh yeah. Yep. You guys know what we do here. You know what to do here. Come on. Ooh. Okay. Oh yeah. That's it, man. That's it right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. Ah. Come on now. Okay. Come on. Okay, here we go. Last one. Yeah. That's how we do that. Okay, next movement chest supported row. And I do make a note that I want this. For the upper back so i'm trying to focus on the upper back here um with this specific one so let's see we gotta adjust this guy Try these because they're right here. Sorry about this, I'm sure it'd be miserable to watch. It's okay.
not terrible. I'm going to roll with it just because I wasted too much time setting it up. And I don't want to do that again with something else that I might not like. All right, we're going to hop right into our first set. Just a good weight for that. Those actually don't feel too bad. I'm uh, I'm thinking about using the weight pull myself into the pad, not roll up away from the pad, you know, driving myself into the pad, using the weight to help me do that. So pulling myself down, really pulling myself down into the pad. Okay, we are moving along here. Okay, okay, everything is feeling good. We're just going to do one more there. Um, 
it is growing on me. I'm not extremely fond of it, but I think it's productive. Ooh. Come on now, let's go. Let's get this one. Yeah. Okay, let's go now. Come on. I'm not mad about that one either. So much as to, I'm actually gonna do one more set there. We'll do one more set there, and then we'll do three sets of some sort of lat pull down, different um, attachment than what we did on the first one. Then honestly, I might just move to the last movement and close this thing out. Um, I feel really good, but to the point where I'm comfortable shutting it down and not feeling like I left anything on the table. I mean, that's a balance you have to learn um, over time. So let's get this last upper back row then we'll smash a couple sets of lat pull down and then we got one more movement we're gonna close this thing out early let's get this Come on now, let's go. Whoo, here we go. Hey. 
Open up those shoulder blades in the bottom. Boom. Open that up. Now we're going to pull ourselves into the pad. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Okay, come on. Whoo. That actually feels good. I brought these prime handles. There's different settings on them, but these rotate bars. Um, so I brought these in for a more supinated grip. Just hit a different part of my back. Sneak in a little extra bicep work. Um, something I, it's not my main intention. I'm picking this movement. I just think it feels quite good. Um, you guys might notice the way I'm doing these lat pull downs. Like I said, the rib cage is drawn in, and the elbow's actually in front of me. And I'm not doing this and leaning back. I think you'll see it in a lot of bodybuilders. They have thick, dense backs, but they don't have width or a lot of width, right? And I think part of the reason, part of it, is the way they're executing their lat pulldowns. Um, you know, that leaning back, really cranking on the upper back. You'll notice their traps and upper back are huge. Rear delts are pretty big. And then they're, they're missing lat. They're missing a whole lot of lat. It's because they're never actually hitting it very well when they're um, training because the execution of it is just poor. Um, so ever since I've learned how to get that rib cage down, suck that head, and that elbow almost stays in front of me quite a bit, and I'm thinking about dragging it right to the floor. Not behind me, dragging it straight down to the floor. And um, 
I want to say I've put on a good amount of back tissue by um, by performing them that way. So let's get into this. I'm well warmed up enough that we're going to take a decent jump and just get into our first working set. Like I said, we're going to do a total of three here. Um, we'll probably call it. We might do one movement um, just to kind of stretch things out. And then that's it. Short and simple today. All right, let's set the tone with this one. Set the tone. Let's go. Ooh. All right. You guys know the plan. Let's go. Mm. Rib cage, set the head, drive the elbow straight to the floor. Let's go. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That's right. Same weight, no point did change. Everything felt good, no point. Ooh, come on.
طبعا What are you made of? Let's go. Come on. Oh, boy. That's how we do that. That's it. Come on. One more. Get one more. The last set here. You guys know what that means. Last set, best set. Take it all the way. All right. Finish strong. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Breathe through it. 
breathe through it. Oof. That's how we do that. Not a uh, eventful back session. So I apologize to you guys for that. But hopefully there's some cool stuff you can take away from it. Uh, keeping that rib cage down is one of them. Head positioning, <sighs> driving that elbow um, to the floor and the lat pull down. Um, those are some of the main ones. The other thing I didn't touch on, and I'll touch on it more in another video, is when I'm firing that lat pull down, I'm thinking about initiating that movement with the lat and the lat only. Um, a lot of guys will start, guys and gals, will start the movement with their arms and their shoulders and their upper back. And really, it's hard to explain because it's something that you feel and it's kind of mental. But I'm thinking about sitting on that lat and just firing it, right? And that's initiating the movement. Um, so we'll chat about that more in another episode, but thank you guys. If you made it this far, you clearly have nothing to do with your life. And that's incredible that you shared that with me. So leave a like, comment, share it with a friend, and uh, I'll just keep making these things. So let's roll.